Today, I am going to show you how to use a pendulum. It's super easy. It's a really great way to get yes or no answers. And I'll show you how to use it with or without a pendulum board. And even if you don't have a pendulum and you want to try it, I will show you a couple ways that you can do a DIY pendulum at home with stuff that you probably already have around the house. But before we get started, I'm going to announce the winner of the Llewellyn's Witches Date Book 2021. Coming up next. It's great to have you guys back in the witch's studio. Today, the witch's studio is actually the witch's dining room. But when you're a creative person, you take your studio with you wherever you go. I am, of course, Mickey Mueller, author, illustrator, and witch, not necessarily in that order. First of all, I want to say thank you to everybody who's coming back again and again. If you're new here and you came to learn how to use a pendulum, I come here every week and I share spells. I share tips. So if this is the kind of thing that you're really into, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell while you're there because then you'll always know when a new video is uploaded. Okay, the first thing that we're gonna do before we do anything else, you guys, is we're gonna start off with the winner of last week's giveaway. I've got a beautiful, brand new, fresh off the presses copy of the Llewellyn's Witches Date Book 2021. We're all waiting for 2021. We're ready to tell 2020 to just go away. And this is a great way to get started on that journey. And now I'm ready to announce the winner. Drum roll, please. That's a terrible drum roll. The Witch of the Dismal Swamp. Maybe the swamp will be a little less dismal with Witch's Date Book 2021. Make sure that you reach out to me uh, privately, either on Facebook or on Instagram. Send me a private message and give me your mailing address so that I can pop this in the mail for you as soon as possible. And I'll go ahead and sign my article for you about how to cast a spell on your social media. Enchant your online space the same way that you would enchant your home and keep it as a positive place. Banish trolls. Keep from being a beacon for other people's negativity while you're online. And even ways to send lots of healing energy to people who ask for requests, which we're getting a lot of those this year. So this could be a really helpful article. If you guys didn't win and you want a copy, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below where you can order a copy if you're interested. So now I want to talk with you guys about a really wonderful witch's magical tool, the pendulum. This is my pendulum. It's crystal. I've had this for years. I actually got this almost 20 years ago. My husband and I had a brick and mortar shop and this was one of the items that came from our shop. Um, it's just really simple. It's just a little crystal, little crystal pendulum. The other end, I've got, I've got a little amethyst bead on it and it's just a little silver chain, super simple. The idea behind a pendulum is that you can use it in the same way that you would use any other form of divination, but specifically, it's really good for answering yes and no questions, which sometimes I found that like using tarot isn't always the most useful for me as far as yes or no stuff. I don't know, a, a million times I've asked my tarot deck a yes or no question and I get like lots and lots of insight, but it doesn't always just get me right down to just, I just need to know the thing, right? And that's one of the great things about a pendulum. That's this little tool's wheelhouse, is answering a yes or no question. So you don't have to have anything fancy in order to use a pendulum. It's a great tool when you need a quick response, when you need to know what's happening. It's a wonderful divination tool for those of you who are on a tight budget or people who are in the closet and um, as well as people who are new witches who are just learning their practice. This is a really handy way uh, to have a nice divination tool that's not very expensive and really easy to use. You don't have to have a fancy one like this. Um, they come in all different price points and I am gonna show you a couple of easy ways to make your own. 
You can cleanse and consecrate it in, in the same way that you would any of your other tools. I generally will just do a quick cleanse of it in some smoke. Uh, sometimes I'll swing it over a candle to cleanse it by fire. I might run it in some clear water too and visualize any negativity or any vibrations that I don't want there just flowing off of it. And then I just, sometimes I would just like to take some time getting to know the, the stone or the material, whatever it's made out of, and uh, just kind of get to feel the vibration of it. Here's the super simplest way that I can tell you to use it. And this is not the only way to use it. I'm just gonna show you how I use it. There's lots of other people who have their own ways of working with all different magical techniques and magical tools. But this is how I use my pendulum. Some people will hold it by the bead like this, and sometimes I do too. Just depends on the mood that I'm in. And to hold it like that and wait for it to swing one way or the other. Uh, a lot of people want to shorten it up because it makes the swing more obvious if you shorten it up a little bit. So you can actually just hold the bead and loop it over your finger like this. And then you simply ask it a question uh, and it will swing in a certain way to tell you the answer, whether it's yes or no. You're gonna use this for yes or no questions, uh, especially if you're starting out. There are other ways to use a pendulum but your basic use is yes or no questions. So one of the things that I like to do when I use my pendulum is the first thing I do is I ask it, show me yes, because it's gonna be different for everybody. I've noticed a lot of people have very similar responses uh, to the way that mine responds when I use it. The first thing I'll do is I'll say, show me yes. I don't know if you can see it, but it's swinging in a circle. And that's what I usually get for show me yes. I usually get it swinging in a circle for yes. And then I'll say, show me no. Show me no for me usually goes back and forth. Show me unsure. If I've worded something incorrectly or um, there is no response at this time, it usually just stands still. So there's some people who believe that the pendulum moves and operates because of a spirit connection or because a spirit is moving it. I personally don't look at it that way. And again, I'm not here to say that I'm right or somebody else is wrong because we're, when you're dealing with uh, metaphysics, we don't always have all the answers, but I have my theory that, uh, that I kind of work with. And that is uh, the concept of the idea motor response. And what that means is a subconscious movement that you make yourself without being aware of it. So what happens is, in my belief, the way that I uh, use my pendulum, and I believe that this is how uh, Ouija boards work as well, that's a, which that's a video for another day, but that is coming up uh, probably in October. Uh, but what happens is, with the idea motor response, is that you are basically moving it because you already know the answer to the question that you're asking. What this means on a metaphysical level, it's basically a tool that we're using to tap into our own subconscious. So in other words, yes, we do know the answer to the question that we seek, but where we keep that answer is in our subconscious mind. So this is a tool for waking that up, for accessing it in a way can, that we can see, that we can bring that out. So it's your psychic ability that you're addressing when you ask the question. You're addressing your very own psychic ability, your own intuition, your ability to reach out into the universe and snatch up the answer that you need. And because you're focusing on the pendulum, your own psychic ability works through your micro motions that you don't even realize that you're doing and will swing the pendulum in that direction to give you the answer that you're looking for. So that's just a super basic idea of how it works. I talk a little bit more about pendulums and the idea motor response in my book, Llewellyn's Little Book of Halloween, uh, because we do a lot of divination magic around Halloween. I talk about the idea motor response uh, a little bit more uh, in depth in the section about uh, talking boards and Ouija boards. 
There's also a theory that you're creating a circuit between your two hands energetically, which is completely valid. And uh, especially if you're working with something like a crystal. There's another really cool way to use a pendulum as well. A pendulum board or a mat. And this is a surface that you would set down flat and it will swing in the direction that will answer your question. It's very, very cool way to do it. As you guys know, whenever I do a giveaway, I want everybody to get a little something that you get to take home. And uh, so today, what I have for you guys is a free PDF of this pendulum board. And it's actually a two page PDF because you have two versions. You have this version, and then I inverted it, and you have this version, which looks super cool. Now this is a really simple printable. You can just print this out at home. Use it for communicating with your pendulum. So really quick, I'm gonna turn this around and give you a couple of quick demonstrations on the table so that you can see how this works. All right, so the first thing I do is I try to get it very still and I usually hold it down close to the board or to the table or to my hand if I'm doing it over the top of my hand like this. And then I will ask it a question. And uh, sometimes I'll just ask it a yes or no uh, that I wanna know, but sometimes I'll do a few test questions first. Did the Witch of the Dismal Swamp win the book giveaway today? and then we're getting a good yes response. So let's ask it a question that we know is no. Is my car blue? My car is not blue, so it's telling me no. My car is not blue. So that's basically how it works. And you can use this for all kinds of questions that you might want to ask. Now, if you don't have a pendulum at home, I'm going to show you a really easy way to make one. All you need is a needle and thread. Uh, for this one, I'm using uh, embroidery thread and I've got to write a big, thick needle. And a cork. This is from a wine called the Divining Rod, and I just think it's really cool. So simple, it's really simple. All you do is just take that needle and push it in to the cork until it holds. Now you've got a nice string to hang it from, and it's heavy enough that you should be able to track its movements, uh, whether it's positive or negative response. Did I enjoy drinking this wine? Yes, I did. <laughs> Am I planning on drinking any wine tonight? Nice back and forth. No, I'm not planning on drinking any wine tonight. So that's another really easy way to make your own pendulum. I'm going to take my necklace off because I'm gonna show you guys another little trick. And this is what I mean when I say that a pendulum is a great way to do some divination work, even if you are in the broom closet or you don't have a lot of money because all you really need is like a necklace or something. Um, now you can, let's see. Blah, blah, blah. You can hold it like this if you want to, to do it that way. Uh, one of my favorite ways, though, if I'm using a necklace, is I like to 
it. I like to get it all the way down to the end because I feel like uh, it's just a better way to uh, ensure that it's gonna it's gonna hang nice and evenly and you'll get a good response from it. So that's all you have to do is just hold that. And you can use a necklace in that way too. Did Roger give me this necklace? It's swinging back and forth because Roger did not give me this necklace. Did Sherry give me this necklace? I think you can see that it's swinging in a circle. And that's my yes response, because yes, she did. Thanks, Sherry. <laughs> okay, so that is a simple way to use a pendulum. I know you guys are interested in seeing how to use the uh, pendulum board that I've provided for you guys today. I have two different versions, uh, basically so that you have something to fit your style, whether you like the black background one or the white, white black, blah, or the white background. I think they're both really cool. Um, some people might prefer this one only because it uses a lot less ink when you print it. And, uh, but I decided to print both so you guys could see what they look like. Anyway, um, you can just cut it right along the line and just cut it all right off of this paper. Or if you prefer, you can actually punch holes in this and pop it into your book of shadows and you can use it just like that. You can just flip your book open and then you always know where it is and you won't lose it. I printed these on cardstock to make them a little more durable. So the way that this works is you set this down on your workspace and just familiarize yourself with it a little bit. And the way that this is going to work is, first of all, I like to start with the, I like to start with the pendulum resting right in the middle of that eye because that is the center of this board. It's right in the middle. And then you just lift it up and you ask it a question and it should swing this way for yes, because you've got yes on both sides, right? So it's going to swing this way for yes, this way for no, this way for maybe. And if you need to rephrase your question, it should swing this way. So that's how this board works. There's a lot of different kinds of boards out there. I wanted to keep this one simple. Some have letters over them, and the way that those work is you it works like a Ouija board where you would basically you would hover your pendulum over each letter to try to spell something out, and it would circle it would be basically give you whatever response you're used to for that is the correct letter and write that down and then you would go to the next letter and see if that one is another letter that you're supposed to use and you would go on down the line. It takes a really long time. Ouija board's honestly quite a bit quicker than that, um, but it's another method for using it. This one I just wanted to keep it nice and simple. So let's show you how it works uh, in person. Let's see. Have I decided what I'm gonna make for dinner yet tonight? I've definitely not decided what I'm going to make for dinner tonight. <laughs> it 
Is it going to rain tonight? Now this is a response that I get sometimes. Sometimes it just takes it a minute to get going. But sometimes it just stands still. And for me, that generally means that there's factors that are changeable and there's not a clear answer right now. So let's come up with another one. Will I win the lottery this week? Looks like probably not. Here's why rephrase is there, all right? Um, because if you ask it a question like this, what's the best course of action for me to get a new job? See how it's swinging for rephrase because it's not a yes or no question. If, uh, if you're happier using a board and you don't have one handy, simply take a piece of paper, put an equal armed cross in the middle and just do yes, yes, no, no. Easy. And then you can use your pendulum out and about your little makeshift one in that way. So yeah, I mean, this is literally a great way for somebody who's uh, still in the broom closet or is a new witch and hasn't been practicing very long. And maybe if you live with people that you don't want them to know that you're practicing witchcraft, I mean, you can literally use this to ask a question about anything that you want, get your answer, and then you can take your pendulum apart and nobody knows, you know, and you can just chuck that piece of paper. And then you just have a cork and you have a needle and thread, which looks like nothing. So it's a really handy, really handy method for doing divination work. And uh, the more you use it, the better you get at it. If you get to the point where you're using it a lot and uh, or you haven't used it in a while and it's not swinging in a way that makes you happy or you feel like you're not getting good responses, just cleanse it the way that I described in the beginning of the video and uh, re-consecrate it. You can uh, just put your energy into it and basically say, I want you to help me to determine the answers to the questions that I seek. And you just charge it in that way. And basically just re-consecrate it and start all over again with it. Uh, if you do this, sometimes it's a good idea to do the uh, show me yes, show me no again. And that's all there is to it, guys. It's really fairly easy to use a pendulum. Whether you decide you want to use a fancy crystal one like this, or one of the more rustic homemade variety, need to get yes or no answers to all of your burning questions. So play around with the pendulum a little bit and see how you like it. It's a great way to do some magic on the go and to learn to trust your intuition a little bit too. Also, congratulations to the Witch of the Dismal Swamp for winning Llewellyn's Witch's Datebook 2020. Whatever you do, do not drop your address down in the comments. Just send me a private message and I'll make sure that you get your prize. For everybody else, I didn't want anybody to go away empty-handed, so make sure that you pop down to the description and find the link for these printable pendulum boards so that you have your choice of white on black or black on white. These are, of course, for personal use because this is all my own original art and design, but I, ho I hope that you guys really enjoy them. If you decide to post a photograph of them, 
on your social media with your pendulum as you practice with these, make sure that you tag me. Use hashtag Studio Coven so that everybody else here can see the pendulum and how you're using it. If you want to be a member of Studio Coven, the only thing that you have to do is hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. If you've already done that, then you're in. If you learned something new here or you just love the free printable, give me a thumbs up on this video. Make sure you hit the like button because that helps me to know that you guys want to see more content just like this. I hope you guys have a great week. Stay safe, happy, and healthy. And remember, as always, to be your magic. Bye, guys. Take care.